I am a multi six figure agency owner, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your first client within 24 hours so you can get to that 10K a month as fast as possible. If you're like most beginners out there, you probably don't really have your first client, but now I will show you how you actually can get your first client within 24 hours, basically guaranteed. The first thing you need always is a niche. All right. And what do I mean by niche? A niche is simply a target audience you reach out to that share some certain characteristics. Usually in the SMA space, it's a niche of a certain group of people in the same business. Let's say uh, roofers, that can be a niche. It can be restaurants, it can be plumbers, it can be e-commerce brands. Just simply means that there is a specific type of people that you reach out to with your offer. Because when you do that, you position yourself as an expert in a certain field. Because if you try to position yourself for everyone, it's very, very hard to actually, uh, first of all, create messaging that actually resonates with the people you reach out to. Because let's say, if you reach out saying, hey, I can get you more leads or more appointments, most people won't really care. But when, when you can be a lot more specific with your messaging, that's when people start to realize. As an example, let's say roofers, as I said before, if you reach out to them and say, hey, we can give you five to seven plus new re-roofing jobs every single month compared to, hey, we can give you more leads. You will get so many more responses with the first option where you talk about re-roofing jobs because that's language they actually understand and they resonate with. So that's the first thing. And also the reason why you want to niche is because when you scale your agency, you only want to work with a specific type of customers because if let's say you first of all, maybe work with roofers, then the second company is a e-commerce brand, like the service delivery will be so, so different between every single client, meaning that the more you scale, the more complex your whole businesses will be. It will honestly just be a mess to actually manage. To save yourself from that, simply have one niche at first. A very simple thing, you can go to ChatGPT, ask. All right, yeah, here we now have a lot more detailed niches and a lot of them can work. And the thing is that there really isn't someone that can tell you, all right, you should pick this niche because the main factor that will determine if you will make it in your niche or not is simply, first of all, do they even have a problem you can solve? That That's the first thing. I, I see a lot of people, they, let's say they, they've heard that they should pick a niche and they should do some form of service, but they first choose the service and then choose the niche. Let's say, chat, like, oh, I hate that chat bots or whatever. They, they sell chat bots through AI or whatever. That Then they choose like maybe Marshall Studios or like real estate or whatever. But like when I ask them like, all right, but when you say chat bots, do, do people in your niche want chat bots? Because that's very specific. And I, I'm not really sure if people actually have a need for that. You can pick any of these niches, but the main thing is you need to actually find a problem they have and if you can actually solve it and then Based on that problem, you should always also really want to pick a niche that you all truly care about and see yourself being in the long run because it takes time to really see success in one niche. And if you pick one niche and that in one month change, you won't really see results. You, you should really stick with your niche once you've chosen it, thug it out really. But that's the first thing. So the niche. Now, second of all, the only thing you need is an offer. And I've already touched on it, but your offer should be something that your niche actually wants. Again, going back to roofers, so your offer could be, hey, we'll help you with getting five to seven plus re-roofing jobs every single month on a pain results basis. That's a great offer because I know for a fact, roofers, they want re-roofing jobs. That's a very big job. They get a lot of cash for that coming in and it's very lucrative for them to do as well. That, that should be offered. Like you should always talk about the main outcome, the dream outcome or the potential problem they have. Compare that offer to like say, someone saying, hey, we can help you get more leads. That's very boring. It doesn't really say anything. And it, that can be leads for anything. It doesn't really pinpoint their uh, and what they're struggling with or, or what they even want. Your offer should be, first of all, speaking in the terms that they actually understand. But second of all, should be an irresistible offer. And how you do that is either having some form of guarantee, you, they pay you money, and you guarantee them X results, whatever. It can be appointments, it can be sales, whatever. But as you might find, if you are, if you are a beginner, it's very hard to even convince someone in the first place to pay you a big upfront sum of money, even though if you guarantee something. So if you want to sign your first client to really get some results, get some testimonials, case studies, to get more uh, clients in the future, what you should do is have a really, like basically no brain offer. And what that could be, as I just mentioned, mentioned is some form of commission-based model. Because the thing is, usually my advice is that with the first clients you get, 
your main goal should be to get experience and then testimonials with those clients. Because what that means is that you can leverage those to get even more clients in the future and then charge more for your services. It, it's quite insane if you are a complete beginner coming in in starting a business and thinking you can charge 2K, 3K per month for a service you don't even know how to do. Of course, you're a complete beginner, so why on earth would you even know how to do that? So you should try to make it as simple as possible for the client to move forward with you. It can even be that they don't pay you anything up front and they just simply pay you once they actually close a deal or whatever from what you do. Of course, they should pay ad spend and stuff, but other than that, they don't really pay you. Or you charge a very, very small fee up front and then you might guarantee let's say X amount of appointments for that. And after those appointments, it's pay per appointment or pay per sale or whatever. So that's really about the offer. The main thing, make it irresistible and then also speak in terms that they actually understand because it just makes it so easy. And then the third thing, which is simply the last thing is that you need attention. All right, and what we simply mean by attention is that simply people seeing or hearing about your offer. And if you're starting out, don't really have that much money to invest, the main thing you should do as a beginner is cold calling. It's very, very easy. And I've done multiple videos on how to do cold calling. Even I've done multiple videos in the past of how to hire cold callers, even if you don't have any money to pay them. It's literally a cheat code. More on that in another video. But cold calling is the best way. And if you like starting out, you can get like a Skype subscription for like three bucks in the whole United States to call how much you want. And you can get like a phone number for like 20 bucks a year. That's super cheap. And you can make unlimited phone calls. And what you do on these phone calls, like I have scripts and other things in my other cold calling videos. For you to know right now, the only thing you really need is to present, like, of course, be friendly on the call and then present them your offer. If it's truly a no brainer offer for your niche, they should automatically be interested as soon as you introduce it to them. That's basically it. Like these three here, of course, like when once you have the attention, you need to have a way to book them in. I assume you can figure that out. Like you have a booking platform through Calendly, whatever. Again, I mentioned the other videos, but these are the main three things you actually need to sign your client in 24 hours. So let's just put this into a scenario. You spend, let's say two, three hours to pick a niche because once you pick, you shouldn't go away from that. You should always stick with that niche for at least some time. Then you create an offer based on your niche research. You should have relatively easy to create an offer. Example, roofers, again, five to seven re-roofing jobs in every single month on a pay and results basis. Very simple offer there. You can translate that to whatever niche you're in. And then again, the last thing you really need is attention. And how you do that is what I, what I recommend is through cold calling. You can pay very, very little for that. Or maybe you are, already live in the US or you want to target your local companies in your country, then you can probably call for free if that is included in your phone subscription. So it, this can literally be done for free. And then also, watch my other videos on how to like scale the cold calling and really, really get appointments coming in because you can hire cold callers on like a commission basis, but I won't go into that now. Yeah, that's basically it. Like pick a niche, create a really good offer for them, let the niche know about the offer, and then you book appointments. That's simply as that. I know it's not very fancy, it's not very complicated, but it truly is what you need. And as a beginner, once you've done these two, but if you do the groundwork properly, you, your offer should be good enough for some time. And then the only really thing you should focus on after those two are completed, so you've completed that, completed that, now you have attention. That's like the only thing you should ever focus on because I know it's so hard when you get those resistance creeping in, you do a bunch of cold calls, they don't pick up, they slam the phone on you. It's not a very pleasant thing to do, I know, but who, like, it's not supposed to be easy. I don't know who, if you expect it to be easy, I don't know who told you that. Growing a business online, it's not easy. It takes some work. You can do it easier than others, but nevertheless, it will take work. So I know Mike, Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And you can apply this to that to this as well, because you can plan how much you want, specifically around service delivery, but until you actually end up doing service delivery, you will realize your plan will never turn out how, it's, how you plan it to be. Enough rambling for me. That's it for now. Bye.